Okay, so these are going to be the notes for Unit 2, Lesson 2. Today we're going to be talking about rotations. For this class, we'll look at rotations in reference to the origin. What that means is we're rotating around the origin. There's a more complex way to do this using a protractor and a straight edge, but I'm just, I'm just going to spare you that. We're going to do it with a set of rules. It's easier this way, and I don't necessarily feel like fighting you guys with the, the protractor and the straight edge. So the, he, you need to make sure that you have these rules written down somewhere in your notes because they're going to come in very, very handy as we go. The first one, if you want to do a 90 degree clockwise rotation, so clockwise meaning as a clock rotates to the right, which is the same thing as a 270 degree counterclockwise rotation. So make sure that you're paying attention to not only the degree number of the rotation, but the direction in which the rotation is happening. That'll take any coordinate that is already written as x, y, to y, negative x. So for example, if you have the point 2, 4, that's going to take that to be 4, negative 2. So the y goes into the x spot, the x goes into the y spot, but it also becomes negative. A 180 degree rotation takes a point x, y to negative x, negative y. And note that this doesn't matter if it's 180 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise. They're both the same. Oh, that's supposed to be 270. A 270 degree clockwise rotation, or a 90 degrees counterclockwise, that's how you can abbreviate those, is CW for clockwise, CCW for counterclockwise. We'll take any point XY and turn it into negative Y comma X. So for example, if we have that point 2, 4 again, it's going to become negative 4 comma 2. So make sure that you're keeping track of these rules, that you have them written down somewhere. These are very important. Uh, not super keen on going over these again, but they will be in my class notebook. So yeah, let's look at an example of this. So again, let's take a look at a shape that we have. This is going to be a triangle this time. Let's say that we have the triangle ABC, where A is 2, 1, B is 2, negative 1, and C is 1, negative 3. And we're going to rotate this 90 degrees counterclockwise. If we jump back really fast here, you can see that if we're, oops, haha, -ha, I didn't go back good enough. Uh, if we're going 90 degrees counterclockwise, uh, we're going to change each x comma y coordinate into negative y comma x. So x, y would become negative y, x. So 2, 1 would become negative 1, 2. 2, negative 1 would become 1, 2. 1, negative 3 would become 3, 1. So here's our original shape, the pre-image here in blue. And then there's our image after we rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise around the origin. You can see that this side here is going to here, this side here is going here, and then this long one is going there. It is just a 90 degree rotation around the axis. Like I said, there's a more difficult way that I could go through with you guys specifically using drawing lines from the origin to the point, and then using a protractor to move them. Uh, however, I think this is just easier. So the assignment for this is uh, unit two, lesson two, you can find it in the back of the room. And then there's a part two to this one as well that you can find on Delta Math. So have a good day.